Hey guys, welcome back. We are doing more Thanksgiving recipes today. Doing a whole bunch of videos at one time. The first one we have was crock pot dressing. Go back and take a look at it. And now we have crock pot ham. Now I know this doesn't come from a real pig. You know, they they make this to look like it's been processed. Okay. But this is what I grew up having for Thanksgiving as my memory from my grandmother. She would buy these cheap little hams and cook them very low so what we're going to do is cook them in a crock pot and i'll show you what else goes in here all right guys so i have our ham here and i cut it out of the plastic wrapper and it had a casing sleeve around it so i went ahead and took that off as well and what we do now is we're going to place it in our crock pot. And there's only two other ingredients that go in this. Let me put this over here. If you've been following me for any length of time, you know I can my own jellies. And so for this recipe, you can use any kind of lighter colored jelly that you want. You can use, like, I make a white grape, apple, pear, apricot, anything. You can use a jelly, or if you want little bits of fruit, you can use a preserve. We're going to have one jar of this to go in there, and then one can of drained pineapples that are going to go on top. So, take your nifty can opener, and let's pop the top. So, apple jelly. What I'm going to do first is um, I'm going to score the top just a little bit, making the X's. You know how they crisscross them? And you can also put some of those cloves in here if you would like. But just score the skin. And next we'll put our apple jelly in here. Just had an abundance of apple jelly so that's what we're going to use and you can get a spoon and um, if you would like you can kind of work the jelly into these cracks that's on the ham and then our last thing is going to be our pineapples let me get these drained real quick found me a helper Okay, so now we're going to take our pineapples and pour them in there. And it's okay if you leave some of the juice in there. It's just going to make your ham sweeter. And also, I, I use the apple jelly because a lot of people like the apple smoked flavor. And um, so we've got our apple jelly and we've got our pineapple chunks. I use chunks. You can do squares. You, I mean, uh, the slices. You can put cherries in here. You can put the little cloves in here. Whatever you want to do. There's tons of recipes. I just want to make this simple for our beginners, um, just to show you this is what my grandmother did and what we can still do today. Let me bring you over here and show you what it looks like. All right, so here we've got our ham, got the apple jelly and the pineapple chunks on top. Now we're going to plug this up and let it go on low for about four hours and then we'll come back and check it and see what it looks like. All right guys, it's getting kind of late. I wanted to finish this up on my phone real quick because my camera's on the charger and show you what the ham looks like. All right, so here's our ham and halfway through I got a spoon and kind of just uh, poured this juice and jelly back over it some and let it cook a little more and I cut a little piece off of here let me see if I can hold it up for you guys see it just just comes apart but that's kind of what it looks like on the inside I've already eaten me a piece and I ate me some of the pineapples on top and if you guys want to you can go back and shove those in the little cracks and stuff and 
or get the little cloves and put in there or whatever. Just whatever you want to do. This is just a simple little ham instead of trying to do the oven with the big ham and all that. So there you go. If you're wanting just a simple ham recipe this year, this would be the way to go. And you saw the package that I had it in. Just get it out, put it in the crock pot, put you some jelly, pineapple in there, let it go on low for about four hours, and you'll be good as gold. Hope you enjoy. We'll see you next time. Bye.